Hiya and welcome back to my channel. Unfortunately, this isn't a Doctor Who review. I have a lot of episodes to catch up on. There's reason for me not watching Doctor Who. Not an excuse, a reason. Um, I have been watching another show, well, binge watching, my way of binge watching because it took about two months. Um, I have been watching Gossip Girl! I never in a thousand years actually considered making a video like this. I mean, back then. Um, but now, why not? The main reason I made this video is because of the news, and I don't know if it's uh, new news or it's been talked about in the past, but there is a possibility of a reboot of Gossip Girl. And I have a lot to say. But before I say what I'm going to say, I will quickly, briefly review all the seasons of Gossip Girl. Just kidding. I am going to share my views of Gossip Girl through pros and cons of the series. I will also talk about whether I prefer Pretty Little Liars or Gossip Girl because they are similar. And I will also obviously talk about the reboot. If you haven't seen Gossip Girl, please watch it. It's been on, uh, it, it's finished. It, it's a six season show about Upper East Siders, uh, fictional Upper East Siders, and it is just chronicling their journeys. There isn't many at all filler episodes in this show. A lot of TV shows have, um, I'm going to mention Doctor Who. I do adore Doctor Who, but like they have, or even Supernatural. I did adore Supernatural. They have Monster of the Week episodes. They have filler episodes, not really appropriate to the story, associated with the story, just something like light. This one, maybe had okay maybe not no filler episodes but had very limited and it was going through story arc and story arc and story arc so it was confusing yes trying to like catch up on like what story arc they're up to but it's not as if they say stop let's talk about something else and then let's go back to the story limited amount of characters to explore yes there are many characters in the show like major characters like Blair, Serena, Dan, etc. and minor characters but there's a set few characters they focus on it's not as if like every single character even extras have their own story like Game of Thrones well Game of Thrones has a big cast but what I'm trying to say is at least there's a set number of limited number of characters that you explore their journey and you won't get lost necessarily. The episodes are easy to digest. The episodes are 30, 40 minutes long as opposed to Game of Thrones, which is like an hour an episode. I, I, I forget, or 90 minutes, I don't know, really, really long episodes. This is easy to digest. Um, and appropriately length episodes. Um, ideally I would like it to be 20 minutes, but you know, such is life. Famous faces and voices, as I mentioned, Penn Badgley, who is lead in You. You can't really see it, but the book's there. And also Kristen Bell, who was in The Good Place, who was Princess Anna voice. She was the voice, the voice. XOXO Gossip Girl. His pairings got their uh, spotlight. Like, yeah, because there's a limited amount of characters, and yes, they do like have relationships with it. But, like, for example, there was Serena and Dan, there was Blair and Dan. You know, there's like a lot of ships and pairings, and mine is Darina, and yay! But yeah, a lot had their opportunities. Last season was so, 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 so overwhelming. So much of the plot was explained in season six. So much of, uh, even the reveal of Gossip Girl was spoilers in the last episode and it was so out of nowhere. Like, 
it was just so overwhelming. Like, you have at least two or three seasons, which is like, da 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 you know, happy days. And then you have season six, bam, there's like so much. Wow. It was just so much info to take in. And it was just one, oh, it was absolutely frustrating. Having six seasons, they could have shortened it to maybe four seasons. This is probably because, you know, they just, um, not really caring about who Gossip Girl is for, like, they took a long time to develop character stories and then they included new characters, which maybe they shouldn't have done. I spoiled for myself who Gossip Girl is if I, you know, follow the series back then, you know, sequentially as it came out. I would have been more excited to find out who Gossip Girl is, whereas when I was watching by season 3 I knew who Gossip Girl is, I spoiled it for myself and I'm like, so how will they find out who Gossip Girl is? Because I know who Gossip Girl is. Finished sickly, like, it went back to the beginning again and Pretty Little Lies did exactly the same in the last episode, went back to the beginning again. It's like, if a show ends, you want it to end, you don't want it to, I don't know, in my opinion, if I was writing a show, I'd be like, this is the last season, this is finite, don't extend it, like, yeah, okay, it'll give, like, reboot thoughts, but it's just so, such a used, overused trope, that it's just, ugh, why? Why? Just finish it! Some plot lines were just like brought up or story arcs were brought up and then talked about an episode and never talked about again. It was just so annoying. Like it was so important for like one episode and then it just like why? For example the baby. Like they talked about the baby for like one episode and then maybe right at the end like talk about like right at the end of the uh, series like season six they bring the baby up again but it's like why like it's so pointless i prefer pretty little lies um just because pretty little lies is darker Yes, season six was also, uh, the last season of Pretty Little Lies was also very annoying, very, like, let's wrap this up very quickly, but I prefer darker stuff, um, Gossip Girl wasn't really dark enough, it was, it was nice and, you know, nice, tween, romance, whatever, uh, comedy thing, but it really wasn't my style of show to watch. I don't think there should be a reboot because even though the show finished cyclically, like, what new information can you give other than, oh, we're gonna repeat the same story over again? It's boring. So I don't think there should be a reboot. But if there is a reboot, who knows, like, I'm keen to see what they plan, but a lot of the actors are busy doing other things, so who knows. That's all for this vlog, review, rant, whatever you call it. Um, if you haven't watched Gossip Girl, please do. If you haven't watched You, please do. If you haven't watched Doctor Who, I will get back to that very, very shortly. So I will see y'all in my next video. <laughs> Laters.